Hey guys, welcome back to Bronson's Math Club. Today we'll be learning about the commutative property of multiplication. So in our previous video, we learned about the commutative property of addition. Now the commutative property of addition and multiplication are pretty much the same thing because it's the same rule, which is that the order in which you write your terms does not matter. As long as the terms are the same, you are going to get the same answer. So let's say that you have the terms, okay, so let's say that you have the terms C and F. Now there is different ways that you can write this when it comes to multiplication. You can write C times F, you can write C dot F, which also represents multiplication, but the most common way that you'll see it written is just C and F written together. Now the reason you don't write the first way is because oftentimes the multiplication sign is confused as the variable X, okay? That is why you will not see it written like this. And you can put C dot F, but it just makes it longer. So that's why just simply C F means you're multiplying the term C by F. Okay, you're multiplying the two variables together. So now the community property, once again, it says that it doesn't matter which order we write it in. So I can write C F or I can also write F C. It doesn't matter because either way, I'm still multiplying C by F or I'm multiplying F by C. So now if you have more than two terms, let's say that you have f m c w i can also write this as w m f c is still the same thing because the terms are the same so if i were to multiply these i still get the same product so now what if we have actual numbers so let's say that we have four now in this case you can't just put the, all the numbers together that was just for the variable so if i were to write four times two i can't just put them together because then it looked like 42. In this case, we do have to put a multiplication sign or a dot, so I'll use a dot. So 4 times 2 times 1, I can also rearrange this and write 1 times 4 times 2, and I'm still going to get the same product because I know that 4 times 2 times 1 is 8, and so is 1 times 4 times 2. So 8 is equal to 8, therefore my answer is correct. So as you can see, the only thing about the commutative property of multiplication and addition is that as long as the terms are the same, it doesn't matter which way you're rearranging it, like doesn't matter which way you're putting the terms, whether it's the variable or the actual number, you're still going to get the same answer. So that's all for this video, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!